G'day everyone, my name is Anton Lambers. I'm an orthopedic resident from Australia and I'm here to talk to you about flashcards, which is something I've been developing for the past year and so with Derek Moore and Orthoboards and we're really excited to be releasing the beta version. So this video is going to teach you about how to review your cards in this Anconeus platform, which is our algorithmic learning, um, which is a version of spaced repetition learning. The first thing I want to take you through is the spaced repetition learning and how it works and why it's so important that you review the cards that are due. I'm a big fan of spatial repetition learning and throughout medical school and for my exams and early training, I've used things like Anki, um, which is a uh, flashcard program to learn things. And I found it so helpful in that it's portable, it's efficient, and you're not reviewing stuff that you already know. And you're bringing the stuff earlier that you're forgetting. That's based on this forgetting curve, which was developed by Ebbinghaus many years ago, which tells you about decay of knowledge after you're exposed to some information for the first time. A lot of students and residents do what's called mass presentation of learning. So you're looking at a textbook or perhaps you're reading long lists of orthopedic, orthopedic topics on orthobullets. But a lot of it is forgotten within several days if you don't expose yourself to it again. And you're less likely to remember things if you're exposed to large amounts in a single point in time. That's where spaced learning comes in. Spaced learning is based on the fact that if you wait for a little bit of decay and before you've completely forgotten it, test yourself on it again, which is called active recall, you bring up your recall and knowledge of that content and start the decay process again, but on a lesser curve. Again, if you try and remember that again, at three days, for example, you decay, but the decay is less steep. This is called spatial repetition learning and it underpins the flashcard program. And it's also using our questions algorithm as well under author boards. So let's show you how to find your Ankenius cards, which is the center where you're gonna to go to review your cards. If you click on cards in the top menu and go down to Ankenius cards, it'll take you to your home. This is where you see your due cards for the day. And it's really important that you do this every day so that you keep on top of the learning. If you miss the cards for several days or even a week, the cards that you didn't know and are meant to be due soon are gonna be spaced so far away that you float down that curve and you're gonna already have forgotten it. And it's gonna be a waste of time because you're gonna to have to learn them again. So it's really important to keep on top of them. All you do is click on due cards and it'll automatically take you through the ones that are due. Don't forget you can use shortcuts to quickly progress through this menu. Uh, and review of all your cards without even clicking on the mouse. I'm hitting enter to see the answers and clicking numbers to pick on my responses. This is covered in the other video. So very quickly, I can progress through my questions, do my review cards. And then I'm done, thumbs up. I'm also gonna take you through the settings so you can adjust and individualize your learning. I'll show you where to find that. If you go back to Ankeny's cards, click on change question limit and the settings icon and click on set reinforcement. This is the same set settings page that you use for your study plans if you're subscribed to one of those. If you go down below questions reinforcement, you'll see the flashcards reinforcement page. This is where you do your cards. Here you can change your daily limit up to 250. If you're wanting to see all the cards that are due that particular day and you're keeping on top of things, it might be worth having a high limit but if you're someone who is better off having a smaller target that's more achievable and have that reward of completing each day maybe set it at a lower number you can also change the start day of your reinforcement so if you've been slack before and you're starting a new study plan you want to keep on top of the cards as they're presented to you in that study plan maybe set the reinforcement date to start on that day this part's really important down here where you can actually pick how you study and how often you see your cards and this is how you individualize your learning to your own personal experience the first part here tells you the settings on the first time you see a new card. I recommend that if you have no clue about the answer, you see the question on the same day. So you have the chance to learn it again prior to starting the spacing program. If it's hard, you might want to see it perhaps the next day um, because you know it a little bit. If it's fair and you've done okay, in your opinion, you might want to see it in three days. And if you found it really easy, you might want to increase that to seven days. Don't forget that this interval is gonna increase each time you review a card or even decrease if you're getting it wrong. So this is only for the first time that you see a card. When you're reviewing cards, you can also change the algorithm of the spacing. This, for example, will increase the duration of cards um, review time or decrease it according to your own personal needs. If you're studying and you find that the cards are coming too late and you have already forgotten it, for example, you've slipped down that forgetting curve, you might want to increase the frequency of your reviews. On the other hand, if you're doing your reviews and you're finding the questions really easy and perhaps coming back too early, you might want to decrease the frequency of reviews. 
I hope that helps you understand the Anconetus platform and we're really excited to release it. If you have any questions or comments or feedback, please respond to our developers team and we'll try and improve things. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks.